Hey guys, this is Wixie. So welcome back to Treasure Hunts channel. And may bago na naman tayong i-review today na Under Gala Games. But before that, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit that bell button para naman maging um, updated kayo kapag may bagong upload kami. And also like and share this video para naman all goods tayong lahat. So without further ado, let's go. So guys, ang i-review natin ngayon is Under Gala Games which is the Mirandus. So this is an epic fantasy RPG set in massive world ruled by 5 player monarchs and in game, uh, players have absolute freedom of choice. So they can set out into the wilderness alone to try their fortunes against the monsters of the deep woods and dungeons. So join with one of the monarchs to serve as a knight in their um, court also or set up shop in one of the five great cities of the realm so player ownership of in-game assets is central mechanic with players being able to hold land deeds which allow them to claim parts of the wilderness and set up um, hold fast ranging from small farms to massive cities in Mirandus you decide who you will be and choose your own quest in the epic fight against evil so ito yung pinaka website nila guys randus.game so ayan this is a rpg nga no and have absolute freedom of choice there are no maps no quest givers so in Mirandus, you decide um who you will be and choose your own quest in the epic fight against evil okay so ayan yung story mamaya pupunta tayo sa gameplay nila para mas maintindihan nyo and kung ano nga ba ang Mirandus so ayan meron din silang socials uh, if gusto nyo maging updated you can follow them on uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and meron din silang um, Discord, pwede din kayong mag join sa Gala Games para kung gusto nyo mag try ng mga ibang games ni Gala Games, punta lang kayo sa website nila. So, tara explain natin ano nga ba si Mirandus. So, the Mirandus is developed on Gala Games and a game making network on blockchain. So, the Gala Games platform functions as a marketplace where users can explore different video games and purchase game tools and items in the form of NFTs. So, the Gala Games network runs on Gala or GALA and the ethereum based utility token so most of gala games video games are developed or testing and the platform does not only host video games by the gala games team but it also open to developers from outside the project so currently um gala games has directly made mirandus townstar and town crash for gala games fun comes first which implies that the blockchain must be invisible in their play to earn games so mirandus is described as a fantasy rpg and is set in a world ruled by five monarch based in five different cities so play to earn video game itself has no quest missions or levels to overcome so players are free to venture into the uh, wilderness and try their luck in the mirandus metaverse so you can participate in the game with your own avatar you can go on monster hunt in the forest lend your service to some knight or run a small village shop all possibilities are open in mirandus so all these features make Mirandus by Gala Games and Open World. So, how does Mirandus play to earn work? Well, the uh, pe peculiar peculiarity of a play well the peculiarity of a play to earn video game like mirandus is the possibility of obtaining crypto rewards while playing so gala games has devised a soft uh, sophisticated internal um, economy for the mirandus based on the two tokens gala and materium or mtrm 
So both ERC20 um, while Gala is used to purchase all the NFTs that beautify the game, uh, Materium is the token that moves actions and characters in Mirandus. So everyone in the game is looking for Materium which on a technical level is a token that can also be traded on the free market but within the game is a powerful mother substance so materium is indeed a concentrate of magic with amazing powers that can be used to increase your abilities prepare spells spells um create uh, artifacts and teleport so miranda's popula populations claim territories and citadels in order to grab the mirror the miraculous substance so prepare to unearth materium in every corner of the metaverse to get your reward so however mirandus is also play to earn because you receive tokens every time you achieve small objectives such as uh, founding a city or defeating monsters so mirandus nfts uh, Mirandus is fundamentally a free-to-play crypto game which means that you do not have to pay a fee for a buy components to start playing. Avatars are available as free versions for all players. However, you have to option to buy NFT characters with increased powers that ex exemplars. So there are five types of exemplar, the elves, halflings, orcs, dwarves and humans so each category is divided into families and each avatar is unique so orcs are best suited to exploring the wilderness while dwarves are the most materium hungry at the time of writing um 90 of the exemplars have been sold but can be bought on secondary markets to give you an idea of the average price, an orc on Gala Games costs about 19,000 Gala, about $1,100 Euro, while you can find humans for 0 0.6 Ethereum on OpenSea. So the game is based on the core principle of resource property, be it land, buildings, or means of transport. So NFT in Mirandus also include land, like property is power on Mirandus. So ship and docks, 1,650 pieces of land are available and once game is launched, owners will be able to choose in which uh, geographical area of Mirandus to place theirs. So you can build dwellings or offer service on the land and it's also crucial to have su suitable walls to protect yourself from enemies and monsters. So the video game's release date has not yet been announced. Gala Games Play to Earn Miranda's trailer features is a, a mysterious traveler in worn out clothes and filthy face. Everything about him seemingly screaming strenuous and they were in progress. Indeed, everything is yet to build on Mirandus and there is nothing more intriguing than the power to create. So unlike other MMORPG like Warcraft or Final Fantasy, players are not invited to explore cities or places imagined by developers. Everything on Mirandus is in the hand of the players. So if you have any question about the game or about Mirandus, comment down below and yeah follow them on their social and don't forget to like this um video i'm sorry if my voice is kind of husky because i have cough so yeah that's it for today and yeah god bless and have a nice day